Boo hoo hoo. Making video games is so hard. Boo hoo hoo. I get too many emails. I'm gonna play sad piano music and sit on the ground while whining about it. Boo hoo hoo. Yandere Dev, snap out of it! You can't spend your time making whiny videos! People are counting on you to make Yandere Simulator! Gee, you're right, green-haired girl. It's time for me to get back to doing what I'm best at, murdering schoolgirls in horrific ways. Yeah, that's the spirit! Now get back to- <laughs> Dumpsters have been in the game for a while now, but they didn't have any functionality until today. Now, you can push and pull a dumpster back and forth. This might look pointless, but it actually has a purpose. If you stop pushing the dumpster while a pink caution sign is above Yandere chans head and open it, you'll be able to push girls into the dumpster from above. For example... <laughs> a corpse that is contained inside of a dumpster counts as a hidden corpse, but it will eventually be discovered by students, teachers, or police unless it is properly disposed of. To properly dispose of a corpse inside of a dumpster, you must pick up a garbage bag and dump it over the corpse. This will cover the corpse in trash, hiding the body permanently. In the future, more than one bag of garbage may be required for this. It looks like everyone's favorite punching bag is having a phone call outside of the entrance of the school. Fortunately, she's standing right where we want her. Corpses aren't the only thing you can dump off of rooftops. You can also dump buckets of liquid. Ah! Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? When a girl is soaking wet, she runs off to the girl's locker room to change her clothes. Let's follow her. Inside of the girl's locker room, you can change the clothing that you're wearing. You can wear a gym uniform, a school swimsuit, or strip naked. Don't worry, YouTube moderators. All nude characters in Yandere Simulator are tastefully censored by steam clouds in traditional anime fashion. Yandere Chan's high school is very rich so the girls' locker room is similar to a bathhouse. At this point in time, I could drown this girl, stab her, or take lewd photographs of her. But instead, I'm going to spare her so that you can see what she does next. Huh? What's that? You want to know how Yandere-chan can carry two weapons and a smartphone while she's naked? Well... Use your imagination. Well, women have more hiding places than men. If a girl's school uniform has been ruined, she will wear her gym uniform for the rest of the day. This is what happens in real Japanese high schools. In the final game, the primary way to acquire a clean school uniform will be to steal a girl's uniform from the locker room while she's taking a shower or wearing something else. If you dip a bloody mop into a bucket of water, the water will become bloody. Eventually, the water will become so bloody that it's more blood than water. When this happens, you're able to dump a bucket of bloody water onto a girl's head. When a girl is soaked with blood, she takes the same course of action that she would take if she was soaked with water. However, covering a girl in blood can help you frame a girl for the murder of another student. This feature isn't in the game yet, but it's coming soon. 
There's another place where you can dump a bucket of liquid onto a girl. You can do this in the girl's bathroom while she's using the toilet. Another cruel prank you can play on a girl is to turn off the lights while she's using the toilet. Stop! There's someone in here! No! Turn the lights back on! If you combine these two pranks at once, the girl will try to turn on the lights before she leaves the room. No! Turn the lights back on! Really, just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? Ugh. I have to turn the stupid lights back on. Where is it? I can't go to class like this. I need to change my clothes. As you can see, we have orchestrated a situation where a girl who is soaking wet and gripping a metal object is reaching for something that has an electric current running through it. To turn this prank deadly, we only need to do one thing. If you use a screwdriver to unscrew the cover of the light switch, the results are... shocking. Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? to turn the stupid lights back on. Where is it? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed seeing a demonstration of the latest progress that I've made with Yandere Simulator. As always, I'm making progress on a lot of other things as well, but those things just aren't quite ready for you to see just yet. Once again, thank you very much for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Hmm... That's weird. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But what? Oh yeah, that's right. There was one more thing that I wanted to show you. You can now ride a bike around a simple town environment. Have fun!